Something I've always wondered was where was Johnny Lawrence during Karate Kid 3? In a tweet to John Hurwitz about a year ago, I asked him this very question, and he told me that they couldn't answer that in case they want to flesh out Johnny's story later during some time. Now I think season 4 is when we could finally learn about that story, and here's why. This is something that always made me question where he was just one year later after he lost the tournament to Daniel at the All Valley. Or heck, even during that summer and leading up to the Valley tournament, you know, during Karate Kid 2 and Karate Kid 3. Did he leave town? Did the embarrassment destroy him that much? He must have heard that Daniel and Ali broke up soon after the tournament, so his anger towards Daniel probably wasn't nearly as much as it was when they were in high school and when Daniel was with Johnny's ex-girl. I think Johnny left the Valley and maybe went on a boys trip during the the summer somewhere. I feel like he would have heard about the tournament for sure, and someone would have asked, hey, are you gonna go for it again? I feel like maybe he would have been done with it, maybe he just wanted nothing to do with Kreese and Cobra Kai at that point after what happened at the end of Karate Kid 1, or I should say the beginning of Karate Kid 2, where Kreese choked Johnny out in front of pretty much everybody in the parking lot for losing. And at the very least, I feel like Johnny would have seen Daniel around at some point in the valley, or maybe even his old sensei, Kreese. Maybe seeing the lights on at Cobra Kai and Daniel and Silver training there could have been something that really put a shock to Johnny's face and perhaps made him leave the valley altogether. Maybe that was the reason. I mean, there's so many different avenues that the big three could go on here, and I'm just trying to pick at different theories and try to think of what Johnny could have been doing during this time, because I feel like it's just so absurd that he's nowhere to be around, and his very karate school is now back up and running, so to speak, or at least the lights are on. I just feel like there's no way he wouldn't see that or hear about it or someone would say something to him, unless he was out of town. I mean, just imagine the look on Johnny's face if he saw Daniel walking in there with a Cobra Kai gi on. I'm thinking in season 4 we could get that dialogue, hopefully, to help build on Johnny's story and how his life went to the dumps after the tournament and the struggles that he faced. A rich kid who ended up in the slumps, so to speak. And I think this conversation will come about because now that Johnny and Daniel are working together, at least for the time being, who knows if they'll go and fight each other again, but I think how this conversation could arise rise and be explained from Johnny's point of view is that once Terry Silver comes into the picture, Johnny's gonna say, who the heck is this guy? And we already heard Johnny say that he has no clue who Terry Silver is back in season one when he was trying to fight to get Cobra Kai back in the tournament for the All Valley. And Daniel told him that Kreese and Terry Silver terrorized him and Johnny said, I don't even know who the heck that is, referring to Silver. So I feel like Daniel could explain that story of Karate Kid 3 to Johnny and Johnny could fill him in and what he was up to with the boys. Maybe they took a bike trip cross country, you know, maybe they went out of there, got out of there and just needed to clear their heads and did their own thing, you know, just a boy's summer trip, kind of American Pie 2 style. That would have been a cool movie to see. But anyways, I've always been very fascinated with where Johnny was during this time because it would have been kind of interesting if him and Daniel ended up teaming up to fight Mike Barnes. I don't think that would have gone too well for either of them. I think Mike would have taken them both pretty easily as Mike was a machine. He was a completely different fighter, different breed. He was the best of the best at the time. He was Karate's bad boy. So in the comments, I'd love to hear what you guys think about Johnny's story during Karate Kid 2 and Karate Kid 3. Where was he at? What was he doing? Did he leave the valley? Or was he just walking around the valley with his tail between his legs, just completely destroyed in his own mind and his ego shattered to bits and pieces? Thanks for watching this theory video and this thought-provoking video, I guess you could say. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, remember, pain does not exist in this dojo, does it? No!